Hello, this is Anna, and I'm here with CC 1001 and 7030. This is going to be a quick overview about your assignment for Assignment 2, Semester 1, 2017. It's just going to be a quick supplementary video to do with what your code is going to entail and what we hope to see when you guys hand it in. Um, this is not going to be a replacement for your design spec, so definitely read this read the design spec. This is just supplementary to help further your understanding. So before I get started in the nitty gritty, a lot of people have been coming to me going, hey, this is a lot of code. I'm not sure where to get started. It seems like a lot to write. What do I do? Before I, get, before I say anything, I go, have you seen the support code? So the support code has written a lot of uh, code for you and will definitely help you out. You guys have a whole bunch of classes that we already give to you. And for example, if you need to load in data and you need to store it somewhere, maybe check out this trading data class. This might be really helpful when you want to store that data. So yeah, just the moral of the story, check out the support code, see what each class is doing and try and understand what each method is doing. It might really help when it comes to writing your assignment. Cool. Let's get started. So, we basically want you guys to write five classes for us. So, two classes will be inheriting from Loader, and three classes will be inheriting from Analyzer. You have these supplementary classes, Stock, Trading Data, and Stock Collection. These are going to be really helpful when you're trying to store your data and average volume. So we understand that the analyzer might be a little abstract for people. So as a result, we give an example of what average vol what one of the classes should look like. For example, average volume, which is just analyzing single stock data to determine its average trading volume. Yeah, cool. So let's get started. First two classes we're going to look at is the load CSV and load triplet. Basically, they're going to inherit from loader, as you can see by two subclasses of loader, aka inherit from loader. And what we want them to do is very similar. So they're going to open a file, read it, and see what, and store that data. However, whilst they might do the same end products, they're going to be very different processes. Because if you look into what the, each file is, we have the load CSV file. This format of each line is one stock. But for the TRP file, the triplet files, they're going to be a lot of lines for the same stock with high and opening and date and low and whatnot. So this should be giving you a hint of since they're different files, styles, maybe we should handle them differently. If you're going, okay, whoa, this is a lot to take in. How do I read files, store data and whatnot? Check out tutorial 5 and tutorial 6. Well, they're all about reading, opening, closing, and handling files. Awesome. So, there we go. We want you guys, so hopefully you guys should be able to get started on these loading classes. We recommend tackling loading CSV first and loading triplet at the very end. Final thing about these classes is that we want you guys to write one method for this load CSV and load triplet. It's called the process method. It's basically just the method where you read your file. Awesome. More information. Okay. Next is that we have the next three classes. So these are going to inherit from your analyzing class. So, so your analyzers class in your support code. So we have three called high low, moving average, and gap up. Just for an example, we have given you average volume. Awesome. So high low is just going to be finding the highest and lowest price for a stock out of all the dates. Awesome. Moving average is going to be find the average of the previous of the closing price for the previous X days. Gap up is going to take a little while to get your head around, but hopefully I'll explain it. For example, on Monday, your stock closes really low. On Tuesday, your stock opens somehow magically really high. We want to just go, when did this happen? When did our stock close really low? And then it opened the next day really high. 
awesome. So I read out these, these code, the spec for more information about them. Just to help reiterate what we we're talking about, is that we have a diagram for you guys. So this is exactly what I was just saying. We have your loader class right here, and you're going to be writing load CSV and load triplet. These two classes are going to inherit from loader. Awesome. Then we have these four classes. You're going to write high, low, moving average, and gap up. We'll be giving you an example class average volume, but they will be inheriting from your analyzer class. So with your, all your classes in your analyzer, we want you guys to write three methods, your process, your reset, your result. So your process is once you're adding data, how do we want to process it? Resetting is that you want to reset your analytical data, and result is what we want to return to the user. So if we quickly check out what we guys gave you as an example, average volume, the, we have our init method, which you guys need, but we also have this process method, so it's just when we get extra data, this is what we process to it, so we add number of days we have, and we add the volume to it. Then we have a reset method, which is going, cool, let's reset all our analytical data. Resets this, so as if, so it sets number of days and volume just to zero. Finally, it's the result, so, cool, you've got all your data from your process, you've reset it a number of times, depending on if you wanted to or not, and then you have your result, which is returning what we want it to process. So if you want the average volume, get all the volumes and divide it by the number of days we have. That is basically what we want you guys to do, but for your other analytical classes. If you guys aren't 100% sure about this diagram, just make sure you understand these bits. Also, just try and read the spec and see what about inheritance. If you guys are like going, wow, and I was talking a lot about inheritance. I'm not sure what it's about. Check out tutorials 7 and 8. They're all about inheritance to give you guys good practice at it. Cool. So I've been talking a lot about overview, so let's get into examples. So, we give you guys this code. This is the code we ask you guys to download. Please fill in out these author student number email stuff. But this is what we give you. I have written out these single line doc strings just for me to help explain this in this video. If you want, you can copy them. If not, no biggie. So first of all, you're loading in your data. So this is checking out your low CSV code and your low triplet code is working. Oh, by the way, sorry, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. This example usage is that when you run it, so once your code is complete, you should be able to run this code and no error should pop up. So this is checking your load CSV and load triplet classes are working. What we want to pass in is very similar. So we want to pass in a file name and also this is where we're going to store these stocks. Awesome. Hopefully we'll understand that. Okay. Then this is our example class for an analyzer. So our average volume. So we're initiating it, we're getting the stocks for ADV. So from now on we'll be analyzing stuff for ADV, because we mentioned it up here. And we're just printing out the result. Awesome. So here we have our class high-low, our class moving average, and our gap up app class. So what we want to do for our high-low is just to reiterate is that we find the highest and the lowest point of the stock price within that stock. Fi Next we have the moving average class. Moving average is just going for the past X number of days, what is the average for the closing price? What we know about X number of days is this 10. So for the past 10 days, what's the average? If you want, you can test out 15. You can test or whatnot. But right now, we're just going to go with 10. Awesome. Finally, is that we have this gap up class. So this is the one where it's going, closes really low on the Monday, but magically increases price when it reopens the next day on a Tuesday morning. 
So, just to trick you guys up, we're going to change this stock to now talk about YOW. Yeah, YOW, awesome. And we're going to print, we're going to check out what this gap up is. Um, with this, so we're going, okay, how significant is this closing low and starting high? What's that difference? How significant is it? Is it going to be 0 0.0000001 or is it going to be 0 0.1? This is this delta value you might be seeing in your design spec. So this is going, hey, just tell me if you guys get anything that's, that jump is 0 0.011. And please return me the date. Cool, so now we've had a quick look about the example usage. Let's have a look at what we expect. Let's split the screen this. Okay, cool. So we have our example average volume returning us an integer. We have the highest and loading, lowest trading price for ADV, which is giving back, which is returning us a tuple with the highest price and the lowest price at trading. Then we have the moving average, which gives us a float for the last 10 days. What was the average in the closing stock price? Finally, we have this last gap update for YOW, which is giving back an integer for our date that we had our last gap date on. Hopefully this has been a really helpful video for you guys, and if you guys have any more questions, feel free to chuck it up on Piazza, ask us at Practicals, and even ask Richard at Consultations. We'll be happy to help. Just get started early, understand the support code, and do those tutorials from 5 to 8, for they will really be instrumental and key in understanding what we need to do in our assignment. Good luck, and hopefully we'll have happy days. Thank you.